Hey guys, it's Whitney. Welcome to today's video. We are doing a fun New York City thrifting day. I thought it would be fun to bring you along with me today and show you some of my favorite thrift stores here in New York City and hopefully we can find some gems. And hopefully I can get all this dog hair off my shirt. <laughs> so it's raining right now just a little bit. We're gonna walk to the few local thrift stores and then hopefully the rain will let up and we can get on the little scooty woot and just cruise around the city and hit a ton more thrift stores. Okay. Let's get going. This is a thrift store on 3rd and 28th. This thrift store is mostly closed. You can find some fun stuff in the back. Let's go lick. This is a really good vase shape if you wanted to do that like restoration hardware dupe vessel vase thing I just did. Look for something kind of like this. That would be the perfect size. The conversation vibe I'm getting here is, I want to go to brunch at 3 p.m. on Tuesday, Becky. <laughs> this is the housing works on 23rd they always have some really cool stuff but housing works tends to be really overpriced but you can find some really unique finds in here so let's check it out a mirrored brass tone cork table lamp. You guys, you could DIY this so easy. Just cover this and kind of like a mirror sticky. And then this is just the little like cork cutouts you can just glue on. You can make this so easily and not pay 150. What the heck? So much red furniture. More red furniture. These chairs might actually work for my client. They kind of match the restoration hardware table he got. And they're only 95. The white linen's in pretty good shape. Usually chairs like this are, you know, quite expensive, like double, triple that price. Hmm. Hello. Difficult. These more organic shaped items. So the Goodwill on 23rd is pretty bare and it's mostly closed. Look at all these really cool like huge beakers. This would be so cool as like a cocktail bar. You could do like white sangria, red sangria, margarita. That would be so fun. You could also do these as like a propagation station for a garden. Like if you were going to propagate some philodendrons or some pothos, you could just stick the stems in here and kind of have them live in water. But how fun for $5, they have, there's like so many. There's like the little tiny ones back here. How cute. This is hilarious. Do you put like sunscreen in here? This would be such a fun gift. You could put, instead of having like sunscreen in here, you could put like a self tanning stuff in a mitt, like a loving tan and a mitt. Oh my God. And like a body scrub. How funny would that be? These are kind of cool for the farmhouse. There's two of them. So I'm looking for a few coffee table books for my client, kind of based around design and a little, a little bit of like contemporary art deco. And I think this would be great for one of the bedrooms on the side table. And I also found this one. I love horses, oh my God. I'd love to have a horsey one day, but I can also take a couple of these out and frame them and hang them up at the farm. You wanna be in it? Not really. <laughs> so we just hit up three thrift stores. Now we're gonna walk back to the apartment, drop off our books because they're pretty heavy, and then grab the scooty and hit the ones that are a little bit farther away. Okay. And we're off. So the City Opera has moved to the west side. They are on 26th and 10th. So let's check it out. So they apparently did not move to the west side. They've had this second location, but the one on the east side has closed. Chair is really beautiful. 
hand carved. That's really pretty. These are kind of cute. Little candle holders. That is a piece of furniture. <laughs> Guys, look at this table. These are really cool, huge casters. It's like a five by five piece of glass. That is awesome. I love this big desk. That's really not that bad for this. I think my favorite thing down here are these carts. $100 a piece. There's two of them. Oh, there's more. Holy cow. These are tall ones. It's like long sideboard credenza looking ones. Wow. This light is just amazing. These are beautiful. We're going to that Salvation Army, but I think there's a street festival going on. So we're gonna check this out first. Never mind, not a street festival, it's a police precinct. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, Salvation Army on 21st and 8th. Hello. <laughs> What'd you find? Giacometti Studio. Good find. It looks like someone tried to DIY kind of what we did before. It looks pretty good, kinda. Good job. This is a fun shape to do something cool with. These are so dainty. This is kinda just junky junky, y'all. Never you can't find Mark. Go to the books. Where is he? <gasps> there he is. Found you. What are you doing, little waddles? I like what was attempted here. You know, all the different handles, different wood cranes. It could have been a cool project. Almost. Fred Marshall said, I have a good idea for a shirt. Oh my god, I'm such a dad. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go tell Mark my joke. Hey honey, I have a good idea for a shirt. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> are you embarrassed for me? Yeah. Yeah, your cheeks are red. This explains my life. <laughs> This cool tea kettle. That's perfect for the little Cape Cod style house. $6.99. Perfect. Yeah, this looks good. Yay. We stopped in for a coffee at this place called St. Kilda. Look at how cute. And I didn't know Australians were super about their coffee. So we're gonna try some today. Look how cute this is. This is the everything bagel croissant. <laughs> Your service. I'm loving this. <laughs> Chris.
Christy Brinkley. So this Goodwill is mostly closed again. There's some fun artwork. So this Goodwill was a dud. We're gonna head up to the Salvation Army up on what, 45th? 45th, 46th. They close it at nine. So we're gonna head there now. <laughs> Salvation Army, here we come. Just kidding, they closed at seven, so we missed it. But that's all right, we'll come back some, like probably in 40 more years. We just got back to the apartment from our long day of thrifting and we found a few things. I got these books and this really fun tea kettle. Mark found a few books as well. Now since today's haul wasn't that fantastic, I was really debating on whether if I wanted to post this video or not, but I am posting it because the valuable lesson in here is that you're not always going to find the things that you want to find every single time you go to the thrift store. Thrifting is always a hunt. It is a process and it's a big time investment. So if you're searching for things on a budget, price point if you're thrifting them it's going to take you some time and there's also value in getting ideas and concepting different designs when you're at the thrift store you don't necessarily need to buy the item but you can see a design direction that will click with you or click with a client of yours and then you can you know if you actually see something like that in the space you can move towards that direction so the value in thrifting isn't just the items that you purchase it's also being inspired and getting ideas from different items that you see at the thrift store that's honestly one of my favorite things about thrifting is seeing unique items and letting my brain kind of creatively go into overdrive and thinking how I could repurpose them into something really awesome. All right, I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Thank you for thrifting with me in New York City. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.